Bonjour, I'm Pierre and I'm software developer at Cyberlis. I'm currently working on the game Icon Score, which is a virtual reality game specifically designed for the virtualizer. Today, I'm going to talk to you about our SDK and its implementation in different game engines like Unity. So, when we first started our SDK, we wanted to make it very easy to implement. So, we wanted to make it as easy as the Oculus one, and our SDK is currently as easy as just a drag and drop of a prefab into your scene. So what's the benefits to use our SDK? First of all, you will be able to easily integrate the virtualizer. Secondly, you'll be able to detect when the player is walking, running, turning, crouching or jumping, and also have access to lots of other data. But most importantly, you'll be able to add easily a decoupling system into your game. But what is decoupling? Decoupling is the ability to be able, into your game, to have your body facing one direction while your head is looking in another one. So decoupling is something that you could get an idea of in some very few games, because it was very hard to implement until now. So what we want to give you with the virtualizer, with our SDK, we want to give you, whether you're developer or final user, gamer, we want to give you the ability to break the regular gaming chains. And for that, I prepared a small demo. So this is a mini game scene I've prepared using the virtualizer SDK in Unity for this video. Tunjai will have to avoid rolling stones we may, which may crush him unless he hides in some corners along the path. Okay, so please take a close look at the combination of his body rotation and head rotation and how it affects the movement and the possibilities of gameplay. For example, Tunjai will look backward while running forward, so he's able to check how close the rolling stone is without changing his running direction. He'll be able to hide in some corners anytime he wants. In contrast, now notice how the coupled head and body direction will affect the gameplay. In the scene you're seeing now, we've disactivated the decoupled movement to show you the difference. So the head direction of Tunjai will always decide the orientation of the movement. So it makes the virtual reality experience so unnatural and lose the player immersion. Talking about Icon Score, the game was used to make a better integration of the SDK within Unity. Um, we are also working on the integration of the SDK within other Unity plugins, such as Mechanim or Ultimate FPS, and different guides will be released at the same time as the SDK. Um, I would like to thank you guys for watching this video, for your support, and um, yeah, I would like to, s to say to you that we're going to work a lot and keep you updated um, as soon as possible in the coming weeks on everything related to cyberis, icon call and the virtualizer, of course. See you guys and thank you. Take one, Pierre SDK video. Bonjour, I'm Pierre and I'm software developer at cyberis. I'm currently working on the game Icon Score, which is a virtual reality game, specific design for the virtualizer. Now today, I'm going to talk to you about the, the um, uh, uh, Philip. Uh, what is this? Uh, are these subtitles? Did you subtitle Lucas? Huh? I don't understand. My, my English is perfect. I'm very understandable. Okay, so... Um, I don't know what's the problem with this company. I came from France uh, to Autriche and I see some problem there. I don't know what's the problem with this company.